I want to show you how easy it is to use workflows in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We're going to take a look at setting up a workflow for purchase orders and also the approval process for that. Then I'm going to walk you through the purchase order through the approval process. So let's take a look at it. There's two setup pieces. The first is the workflow itself. I created this workflow based on a template that comes with Business Central and I used it just as it is. I didn't add anything or subtract anything from it. I did enable it right here. And then I also set up this approval matrix for purchase orders. You can see it here. I'm going to use these three users, David, Alicia, and then admin. And you can see for each user, I've got set up what their limit is for purchase orders. Here it's $75 for David, $1,500 for Alicia, and then admin is unlimited. I'm now looking at David's role center and I'm looking at a purchase order he has just created to go through the approval process. So here's my purchase order. The total is over $2,900 so it does need to go through an approval process. And to start that off, David will request approval just like this and that's it. Once I've done that I can look at the approvals when they're in process and when they're completed by going up here and these are the approvals here. You can see that there's three of them. The first one was created when David submitted for approval. You can see that it's approved. That's the status. The next one is Alicia. Her status is open. And admin is status created because admin has not yet been notified that he's gotten approval. You have to wait until Alicia's done with hers. And then it will go to the admin person. This is Alicia's role center. Let's take a look at her Outlook. And then we can see that Alicia's got this notification from Business Central saying that she's got a purchase order that needs her approval. Alicia can click on this and go to that purchase order. On Alicia's role center, you can look at this tile here. She's got one request to approve. So let's drill into that. Here's the purchase order here. I can highlight it, open the record. I get the total record as it is represented in Business Central. Then as Alicia, if I wanted to approve that, I would go up to Approve. Here I can approve it, but I can also reject it if I need to. I can delegate it to another. I can add comments if I want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and approve that. So this purchase order was created by David. It was submitted for approval. Then Alicia looked at it and approved it. So the next approval is the admin person. The admin person is going to look at the purchase order and do the approval in the Business Central mobile app. I'm logged in as the admin person to their mobile app. And this is my role center that shows on the mobile application. I can scroll down here and I see that I've got one request to approve. I'll drill into that. Here's the PO right here. And this is the header information for that PO. I can drill down further and look at the record. I can open up the record there. I'll see all the detail. These are the two items that I'm purchasing on this purchase order. Here's the total amount. I can also add information here if I want to. If I knew what the invoice number was, I could add that. So let's add the invoice number here. And then I'm going to approve it. I can approve it, reject it, or delegate it to another. I can also add additional comments. I'm going to hit approve. And I'm done. Let's take a look at that purchase order. I can drill down here. Here's the purchase order. A couple of things. The status has changed to released. So now this PO can be sent out. It can be received and invoiced against. I already have the invoice number that the admin entered on his mobile device. I can look at the approvals and see those. These are all the approvals that were made. And these are the dates and times that they were made. This is a quick look at purchasing workflows within Dynamics 365 Business Central. We looked at a couple of setup items and then we walked through an approval process where the approver could look at that information in the Business Central application. They also received an email for that and the final approval was done in the mobile app for Business Central.